Good morning, my friends. Today is Wednesday, June 1st. It's the memorial of St. Justin, who was a martyr. It's also uh, my 20th anniversary uh, of my priesthood ordination. And with that, I'd like to give a shout out to my brother priests who ordained with me. So Father Dennis Spees, Father John Klein, and Father Tree Tran. Um, so happy anniversary to you guys. And uh, thank you to all of you who have impacted me, have taught me how to be a priest, have prayed for me. Um, from the bottom of my heart, I, I thank you. And I want you to know that if I could do my life all over again, I would be a priest again. Uh, it's an incredible life. And I think what I thought it was going to be, you know, I'm, people have heard me say, I thought I was going to be lonely, bored, and poor. I thought that's what priesthood meant because I wasn't married and, you know, didn't make a lot of money. I could be making a lot of money doing something else, but what I get to do has an impact, an eternal impact on people's lives every day. And so I'm so grateful. And one of the big intentions that I had for doing the Camino was uh, to give thanks to God for calling me to be his priest. To My prayer is that I can grow in holiness every day and help you and as many people as I can to grow in holiness that one day we can all experience the joys of eternal life with, with God in heaven. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for being a part of, of my priesthood. I wouldn't be the priest I am today without uh, your help, your support, your prayers, um, your admonishing, and your teaching me how to be a priest. As I reflect on my own ordination, I think of Paul's farewell uh, to the people of Ephesus in the reading today. Think how difficult it must have been. He was there for three years and, uh, you know, through tears and through many hardships, he shared the gospel with these people. And it made me think of when I was leaving my first parish of St. Mary's in West Chicago. As I looked around the mass, the closing mass, I'm like, I, I've, I baptized them. I witnessed their marriage. I was with them when their loved one passed away. Um, and it was difficult to say goodbye after only four years. Um, I can imagine what it's like for priests who have been in parishes for 12 or, or more years. And this is the time of year, you know, I'll be t uh, becoming pastor of St. Isaac Jogues in Hinsdale on July 1st. And a lot of our priests will be moving and people ask, well, why do, why do they move priests? Well, it's based on the scriptures. You know, Jesus and his followers would go to a certain place for a while and then they would move on and keep evangelizing. It's change is hard, but it's also good to have that kind of that kind of change. Um, what does Paul warn warn the people? So imagine the scene, you know, they're down by the dock, uh, people are crying, and, and he's and he's warning people that wolves will come, that maybe even people from the community will try to change the the, the teaching, um, but he encourages them to stay rooted in the gospel, rooted in Jesus and His Word. And so for me as a pastor, I want to be grounded in, in Scripture. And my goal, my, my view of pastoring will be to, to make disciples, to help people come to know Jesus personally, uh, to have a real deep personal relationship with Christ that is in vigor through the, the prayer of Scripture, reading and prayerful reading of Scripture, uh, the sacraments, uh, especially reconciliation and the Eucharist. And uh, I want to be present to, to guide and pastor the flock just like for those of you who are parents you know your role is to to be grounded in scripture and the sacraments and to help your your children and grandchildren to do the same and then paul says he didn't come to seek silver or gold you know he laid down his life literally for the flock and it really challenges me i know sometimes we can get we can feel entitled we can think that it's all about me uh, we can reverse jesus's teaching and say i came to to be served, not to serve. And we need to lead by example. We need to come and to be, to serve and not to be served, to lay down our lives for others. And so let us pray for one another. Let us pray because we need, we need every vocation. We need priests, we need religious, we need deacons, single people, um, uh, consecrated single people. Uh, and so each of us needs to live out uh, our call to holiness and help one another get to heaven. And that happens one person at a time. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you in a particular way today for the gift of calling me to the priesthood. 
Help me to be a good and holy priest to guide others to you, to lay aside my own desires and wants, and to always seek the good of others, especially their, this, the salvation of souls. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person. And to you and to all your family, Buen Camino. Thank you again. God bless.